So today, we're going to build a barbecue trolley. First step is to build a frame starting with the side. You could use a hand saw. I'm just using a chop saw because it's a bit faster. I wanted to make a really simple design that anybody could do at home. Minimal cutting. Everything is can be bought off the shelf at any store. It's something anybody can do. These are the two ends of the barbecue trolley. These are going to go here, just like that. Okay, so that's the main frame done. What I need to do now is put a little shelf in here. I'm going to use Ron Seal wood fill to fill these screw holes. This is a two-pack system. So that's your hardener. And that's your filler. So you get your little spatula that's included in the package. Shovel some of this out, roughly creating a golf ball sized piece. Dump the hardener here. Good rule of thumb is a golf ball to a pea. You want to thoroughly mix it. Now, once you start mixing this stuff, it's reacting, it's catalyzing. Right away, it's ready to go. Yeah, this product's great. It's very moisture resistant crack resistant, shrink resistant as well. I'm trying to push it into those holes. So as I push it in, I'm overfilling it slightly. Overfill is always fine. You have to wait for it to dry. You can come back and sand that back later. Okay, so the wood filler is dry. I'm just gonna sand it and get ready for paint. So it sands really well when it's hard. I'm gonna have a painted element to it. I've decided to go with Ron Seals Charcoal Gray. For this project, it's absolutely perfect. Yeah, I love the color. I love how it's gonna turn this really drab looking tantalized timber into something really nice and clean looking. Perfect color, great coverage. It's really gonna make this piece of furniture pop. Adding a layer of paint is adding a layer of protection. It'll last up to five years. And it's rainproof, which in the UK is a good thing. It dries quick, so it's about an hour dry time. I'm gonna let it dry off, and then I'm gonna start working on the top. All right, while that's drying, I'm gonna make the lid. This is Iroko, and you really kind of want this to be watertight. So I'm going to use waterproof glue. This stuff expands, so you don't need a ton of it. Once that's dry, I'm gonna give it a final sand. It's really nice, you can't tell it's three bits of timber. I'm gonna take some bronze seal teak oil and rub this down. Teak oil will just soak it right in. It gives the wood an extra layer of protection. And I like the way it makes the color really stand. So it gives like a really nice sheen. You can really see it make the grain stand out. All right, home stretch. A little knife holder. This is like a nice little finishing touch. Putting hinges on, attach this top to the base, put the hooks on, and it's done. I'm really happy with that. You got your knives here, you've got all your utensils here, you've got storage in here. It's been a really fun project to do. I'm on a huge mission to change what we put in our gardens stuff that can last outside and be enjoyed for many years. 